Hello everybody, this is Purge, bringing you guys another replay cast. I'm going to be doing a Slaughter gameplay this time. I believe this game was a solo queue, if I remember correctly. This is the first game of my streaming session on uh, Monday. Monday, I believe. I played Slaughter, and then I played Dazzle, and then I played... What was the third game? I don't remember. Some other game that I should have won. Ah, oh, God, those are frustrating. <laughs> Anyways, um, the Slaughter game was pretty fun. Um, I... I had some people recommend this build as a carry slaughter recently, and I was like, eh, that sounds like it's an okay way to do it. And I'll talk about those things in a little bit about slaughter. Um, they just let him die. Like, he just watched him die. This is the third replay that I've cast in a row, so I'm starting to get a little tired. My brain is not working as well, so if I say weird things, that is why. Please excuse me, I'm not used to these, like, four-hour days now. Most of my days actually just sit around and answer fan emails. God, I have to. I spent I spent so much time yesterday and today. Probably four, probably at least four to six hours between yesterday and today, answering and reading emails just to make sure there was nothing important. So sometimes it gets a little draining, but it's not nearly as bad as marathon casting. Let me tell you, that stuff is tiring. All right. Uh, anyways. None of that stuff is important at all. Uh, we're going to play Sardar this game. If you look at their lineup, they have some pretty decent disables and carries of their own with OD as well as Faces Void. So, a um, couple things about Sardar. I feel like this game is paused. It is not... Sardar. Okay. Uh, I think a couple things about his skills. Um, sprint gives him... He takes additional damage, but he runs really, really fast. 20% to 40% movement speed increase. Pretty decent cooldown, low mana cost. Second skill is Slytherin Crush. This is an AoE stun. Keep in mind, this does physical damage, not magical. It does damage or stuns for 2.5 seconds at max and does a slow duration of 2. That means at level 1 and level 2, it does more slow than it does stun. At the later levels, it doesn't really matter because you're slowed and you're stunned at the same time. You're essentially so doing no damage. Slow is pretty low as well. Uh, and the damage is really not that high either. Uh, 200 damage physical is okay early, um, but the reason it's physical is basically because it stacks with amp damage later. This is ultimate. It does uh, minus armor reduction. You can use it on any target. It's universal, which means you can use it on magic immune units. Um, you can use it on neutral creeps. You can use it on Rashawn. Very, very good at killing Rashawn fast with amp damage. Third skill is a bash. It's a passive bash. It's just like Faces of Void's bash. Same numbers, everything. The only difference is that Faces of Void's bash, if you bash somebody in Chrono, does double damage. This does not work the same for Slaughter. So at this point, I was looking at the heroes, and we have really bad lanes. So um, I was basically telling the Chaos Knight, like, I'm going to farm down here. You are not going to take less hits. I randomed, of course, because I always random. And it should be able to get a lot of GPM on the bot lane. Victor. I'm Victor, I'm disappointed. Okay, um, so things about Slaughter. Uh, I don't know how long we're paused for, but I'm going to like speed this up a lot. Look at his little jaw. He's like squinting his eyes a little bit. I was looking at Silencer's items and complaining about them because they were terrible. He's going mid, and his items are really bad. Like, you do not go... Right, if you're going mid, guys, don't get Ring of Regen with a Salve Clarity. Like, oh, God. Get stat items. You just get stat items and maybe a fast bottle. His items are really bad. He did buy Courier, which is cool, but, like, ugh. Scary Silencer starting item build. Okay. So, problems with Slarder as a hero. I have a cosmetic item, by the way, which is sexy as hell. I opened this on a Dire Tide. Yeah, Dire Tide. Trident of the Sea Stalker. It looks pretty cool. All right. Problems with Slaughter. Number one, he's not an edgy hero, so his carry potential is slightly more limited. The upside is that you can increase your damage output by a lot using amp damage. And usually you grab something like an AC, which not only increases your attack speed, but also reduces the armor even further, which means that every hit that you do does even more damage. So... That's the, the trade-off of this. Um, Slardar as a hero doesn't have a whole lot of flash farming because Battle Fury is not very good on him. So grabbing a Battle Fury doesn't give him a flash farming like you would ideally hope. Something like a Mjolnir, actually. I believe somebody wrote that in chat while I made this game. And I was like, you know, that actually sounds pretty cool. I think Mjolnir could work, or at least a Maelstrom on Slardar could work if you do want to put him into more of a flash farming role. But the main problem is he's not quite, he's not quite as mobile as a hero like Anti-Mage. So you can't just go from camp to camp, for example, and um, kill the camps very rapidly in succession. So this is going to hurt Slardar's carry potential late game. That's one point to point, uh, to point out. So basically the main purpose of people don't draft Slardar is that they can generally grab a safer hard carry if they want to. And that's why they don't play him. So, 
Um, there's generally better heroes that you can put in this position, but damn it, I've got to make a video of him, so I'm going to play him into the best possible way that you can, which in my opinion is probably a hard carry role. So I'm going to be playing him as a hard carry this game. Always grab stun level 1, that's pretty self-sufficient or, self or pretty obvious. I'm going to grab sprint as well, in case I need to close the gap versus the bottom here. I got a Quelling Blade for better last sitting. I got a Stout Shield because I do plan to take melee damage, whether from a or sorry, rather from uh, Mirana or the Creeps. I'm trying to keep control of the lane here. Um, this range creep did a little too much damage to me, but or, or to the wave. But I will be able to kill this range and hopefully get back control of the wave in just a second. I should just have to attack that creep like twice. It's actually lane controlled somehow, despite. The Radiant Creep's having more HP, but now it's kind of messed up again, so I need to start denying that creep, but I'm not doing it for some reason. Not sure why. So, Wave's slightly pushed. The Chaos Knight's playing support to me, which is great. He did a great job playing support. All props to that guy. And there I messed up the Wave again. So now there's two range creeps. This means that this is pushed beyond control, so... Mistake from me there. I should have been more active about denying my creeps, and I was not. So the wave will push. Once you get two range creeps, there's nothing you can do. If they're if they're not going to die, then the wave will push. And as you guys can see, bam! Look at that. I have like two melee creeps over the opponent. So wave will push. This is going to give Potom way more exp than he should get. The wave shouldn't have moved from where it was, but now it's going to come up to him, and now he can safely grab the exp. Not a good thing for us, but we are getting more denies and stuff. I have pretty good last hits so far, so I'm pretty happy. Didn't miss that many this game, um, except for when I misclick. I I distinctly remember misclicking that time. Two levels of stun now. I'm just trying to posture on the bottom, not necessarily try to make something happen, but I could. Um, I was considering purchasing a Midas, but instead I just grabbed a Boots right here. Uh, we did know that the Tinker was most likely stacking Ancients, so the Chaos Knight was going to try to kill him if possible. He was so close. And he actually let that arrow hit him. Now the mid was going for him, and things are starting to look really bad. Can't remember if he had a a, a, a salve or not. There's not really a whole lot I could do to try to save him. The dire best do something about that bottom tower. I think I was going to see if I could maybe save him, but... Guess what's I decided that he was probably dead, and that is indeed what, what the case was, so... One super dead hero. Luckily, he was only level one, I guess. I it, did he? I don't know what his stun duration on the uh, the tinker was, whether he got unlucky or not. But he was really close to getting that kill, so I feel for him a little bit. On the bright side, him dying has also refilled his mana, something that surely wouldn't have been filled before because he didn't get a. Uh, I I was really confused about that. Um, we talked about this on stream, but it looked like he dodged a stun, didn't it, guys? But it did actually land on him. I was quite surprised about that one. If I knew that stun was going to hit, I would have followed up with another stun, but. We didn't know, and it was only one seconds anyway, so... Um, at this point, I was like, alright, I gotta give you a clarity potion, because he needs mana to stun again. Um, pretty sure I asked him. I told him I would clarity. I think he took damage. I'm pretty sure. Um, he was like, oh, you must have clarity to creep, but I was like, are you sure? I could have swore I clicked on you, and I saw the green circle go around him this time, so... I was like, okay, I guess I'll give you my other clarity potions. So now he gets all my clarity potions. I really didn't want him to take the... Uh, do the clarity damage. I thought he was going to deny his clarity potion, but instead he was actually just attacking the camp, or the catapult. So, three levels of stun now. I have a second level of sprint. You could argue for getting an early bash level. It kind of depends on player preference. I've seen some pro players go for at least one bash level just because it allows you to uh, get lucky. Like, you can get a 10% chance and bash somebody for one second. Like, yeah, that'll give you a kill sometime, but um, instead, I, I kind of, in this case, I wanted to opt for... Oh yeah, that's a pretty easy kill. I just wanted a stun to make sure that she was very dead here, and um, he's actually going to land the stun on the cast now. That was pretty sick. That was a nice play from the Leshrek, so. I just really wanted to make sure that the bottom was going to die, so I guaranteed it. Alright, I picked up Treads now. This gives Slardar some pretty good early damage. He does hit quite hard as a strength hero, so picking up Treads is quite useful. And this also allows me to Tread Switch. If I want to get some more mana out of my spells, I can Tread Switch to Int. Something that I'm very reliable about, and uh, this is the start of my armlet. So any strength hero that is looking to carry generally is going to want an armlet, just because it's very, very cost efficient. Um, it gives you about plus 65 damage for about 2,700 gold. Now you have to keep in mind that, yes, of course, this um, is going to include... He got. I just got him scared there. I didn't miss any last hits, by the way. It's important to do stuff like that, because I just scared him away from leap, and now he's going to be less, less able to get last hits, or at least less safe to do so.
Um, yeah, you get 65 damage out of the... Um, I don't remember if he had boots. Out of the armlet. For 2700 gold, that's insanely cost efficient. Compare this to a sacred relic. It gives you plus 60. It costs you 3800 gold. It's a massive, massive difference. Um, I, I mean, the downside is that armlet has a degen. Obviously, that you do lose HP as you use it, but the damage potential that you get out of it is just fantastic. So, at this point, he's kind of learning that I'm actually not that interested in initiating on him. Really, I'm just kind of scaring him back. And unfortunately, my Chaos Knight support is not in the lane, so for now, he's going to actually get some EXP and deny me of some um, last hits. Next item I'm probably going to get is going to be the Helm of Iron Will because I do want to finish the armlet up. I'm going to miss some last hits here as I'm checking Chaos Knight. But luckily, he didn't get the creep denied. So just waiting to finish up the Helm of Iron Will. And then I will have some HP regen and some armor. Very nice to have. We are looking to fight here. Chaos Knight made a huge mistake. Oh, God, I was pissed about that. Um, his problem there is that he showed. It's nighttime, first of all. He basically looked to initiate on a hero through the creep wave. Like, if we just waited for the creep wave to push up a little bit or he waited for a better time, like me to stun or something, I don't know. We could have possibly killed her right there. I think he said something like, oh, she had a ward. She probably had a ward anyways. And I was like, well, there's there's still no point to show. You know, there's still no point to show even if you think they might have a ward. Like, you came all the way bot lane. You could have gotten a kill possibly. Just play it safe. He burned her leap at least, I guess, which is cool. Sounds is going to get killed on the bot lane. Or in the mid lane, sorry. And I have 41 last hits right now, which is great for a carry roll. It's great. Usually you want to aim for at least 50 at the 10 minute mark, especially as a hard carry, you should hit 50. I've been slightly contested here, but it hasn't been too bad. Just continuing to get last hits, and that'll give me my Helm of Iron Will, so... Bam! 3 regen per second, 5 armor. Living the good life, man. So pretty close to 80 in level 8. I don't remember if I get bash or sprint first here. At this point, getting a bash level wouldn't be bad. Um, we can look at the scaling again on sprint if you guys are curious what it is. It's uh, 20, 27, 33, 40. So the additional damage that you take actually stays the same at all levels. So um, hypothetically speaking, it doesn't hurt you at all to level it up. The cooldown doesn't change, and nor does the mana. So Don't quite remember what I'm getting, but... I'm just going to continue to focus on last hitting. I do want to carry, so at the very least, I want to wait until I get my armlet before I end up running around and trying to score kills. It looks like I did pick up the bash, though, just because I was ready to get some uh, possible stuns and lucky things like that. So I think it does 40 damage to level 1, which is not bad at all. Arrow hits the creep, so I'm going to be just fine, and uh, there's some heroes. I was really worried right here. That was a great silence from the silencer. And I decided to go aggressive. And a little bit of sun and amp damage, and bam, we actually get a kill on the OD. That was that was actually a really good usage of global silence from the silencer. I was quite thankful for that. Um, I wasn't that much in threat of dying, if you think about it. They already shot the arrow and that missed. He asked to imprison me, but the best thing he could have done there is ulti me. And that's a lot of damage output, but... Um, that was the best thing he could do. Potom couldn't probably do that much. So instead, the gank turns around to a kill for us. I was able to go aggressive on the OD. And just because I, as soon as the global silence hit, I knew. I was like, might as well go aggressive. Backing off at this point is simply not worth it. I think I have armlet, actually. Unless I didn't buy the, I saw the Leshrac and I was like, okay, there's a Leshrac here. I guess I'll play safe. Look how many heroes are bought. It's like a lot of heroes bought. But I've got two kills, so very, very good. 55 last hits, two kills at 10 minutes. It's, it's fantastic. That's like the best you can hope for. Um, I, I was pretty mad about them dying here. I think they, they're going to die. Um, oh, I know. This is the first time they went around, I think. I think they were going to check out the Ancients again or something like that. And I wasn't sure if they had Ward Vision or not, but I was like, guys, they might have Ward Vision. Like, if they do, you're going to die. And they ended up killing the Warlock, for sure. Silencer is also shifting towards mid. He looks to be in trouble as well. I actually don't have a TP scroll, which could be, could be a, a major mistake. Because I, I could have been there right now. I could be in that fight. But instead I opted, I think, to get the armlet. So this is probably my first major mistake of this game. In my opinion. But I was more concerned about the armlet. I was like, I just want to get the armlet finished. Because if I finish the armlet, I'm a beast. 
Now, the reason armlet actually works pretty well for Slowdar, um, if we talk about armor a little bit, um, this might not be mathematically sound, but basically, if they're if you're lowering their armor by a whole lot, it means that it's going to make your damage go farther. Now, hypothetically speaking, attack speed is going to do the same damn thing, but um, really increasing your damage by a lot is really beneficial in Slaughter. The downside is that he doesn't get a whole lot of attack speed early, but um, just finishing having armor plus the imp damage can really increase your damage output. I grabbed a second level of Bash here because I'm still pretty happy with the uh, the levels of Strafe, but. I think Klinks is quite dead, yeah. That OD does pretty huge damage to him. But I've got the armlet coming, I've got two TP scrolls coming, so now if any team fights happen other places, I will be able to help out. I know I had some trouble, at least early on in this replay, um, turning on my armlet at appropriate times. I kept forgetting, but... Bam, armlet's finished. Lots of regen, a little bit of attack speed and damage, and when you turn it on, more, more, of that, more damage, more uh, attack speed, and... Lots of minus regen, if you're into that. I can also use this to push if I want to. It's quite nice. Bashing feels really good with Slaughter, by the way. I don't know, it feels really good. I love the sound. It sounds really cool. Again, they said that they wanted to gank. I was really pissed about that kill. Because they had just died. You guys remember when they went over there and they got collapsed upon by the whole entire enemy team? Well... He was like, oh, I'm going to come from behind or something. I don't remember. Maybe he was looking for Tinker again. He basically did the same thing twice within like two minutes. He ran through Ward Vision and then um, ends up dying. So that was a pretty stupid way to die a second time. The first death, it happens. Second death, not acceptable. Radiance mid -tower's getting banged up. No breaking down the radiance structures like this. Should be able to push with my armlet, though. Looks like there's some action going on mid. I think that's Chaos Knight. I think I just now looked. It looked a little bit late there. Not doing the best carry here. Not quite there for my team as much as I needed to be early, but on the bright side, I'm getting last hits. So we lose tower. Get another last hit. We have more last hits. I'm going bind. I think I was considering TP. Oh yeah, there's the fight top. Saw that one. I really did not want to walk through the march. I was actually quite upset that I TP'd here. And then I saw Void and I was like, oh hey. Luckily I got the amp damage off. How did that guy die? Oh, Warlock. I don't know if that was the Fatal Bonds or what. Clink's is going to die pretty easily. And now I'm changing targets. I think I see the hero down here. Oh yeah, this is uh, the Void here. Pick him up. So I grabbed two kills. Pretty good. Um... I don't think I got the kill, the last hit on the the void there, but I was able to use the sprint to get close and score some kills. Did I even turn on armlet there? I don't think I did. I don't think I even turned it on when I attacked the uh, the OD. So mistakes there. Like I said, I wasn't quite ready. I kept telling the cast knight to get a a soul ring or something, but he was a little bit delayed on that. Get it? Yeah. Catapults. Treat me right. Alright, 1700 gold at this point. Um, there's a lot of ways that I can build. I am trying to remember what I built this game. I didn't go Blink Dagger right away. I don't remember if I went BKB either. This is where I was really cool. I didn't... I didn't use amp damage until then. Or armlet. Ah, boy did I mess up. I easily could have killed Potom with anything else. Anything else. Could have turned on the ulti and killed him. I could have turned on my armlet and killed him. Either one would have guaranteed us a kill against Bottom, but for some reason it just slipped my mind at the time. Like, I, I was so sure that she was dead that I wasn't even thinking about the other stuff. I was like, oh, my stun landed on her. And the Chaos Knight stunned over three seconds. I was like, she is so dead. I didn't get a bash either, I don't think. A bash also would have helped, if, especially if I bashed her right before she escaped. It would have been really good. But I didn't use either there, so that was a pretty big mess up. Um, looks like I'm going BKB next. Um, this is the main problem with Slaughter usually is that you kind of have to get a blacking bar, especially if you use Sprint because the damage, extra damage that you take is oftentimes a little bit too much to handle. So you have, you kind of need a BKB and you kind of need a Blink Dagger as well to initiate. I don't, I didn't buy Blink Dagger early game here, 
which really hurt quite a bit because I can't quite initiate perfectly. And Slaughter's AoE ulti is actually really good. Let's, or the stun, sorry. Look at look at the AoE. It's pretty large. If you can blink in the middle of the team fight and stun everybody there for two and a half seconds, that's a huge stun duration. So getting a blink dagger on Slaughter is actually pretty beneficial. But the downside is if you get a blink dagger, then you need a, a BKB. And all these things start stacking up against you a little bit. And that's not enough for carry, basically. So if you do want to play him in that kind of a role, like a Blink Dagger BKB role, he oftentimes will have some trouble out carrying later. I saw some TPs. Um, I think they were team mate with teams were talking or something like that, but I don't quite remember. Looks like there is a battle going on. I think I took one more last hit, and then I, then I came to the lane. A little bit of a surge forward. Trying to help his damage output. And now I'm going for the solo kill on the left. I just kind of want to keep him separated. As you guys can see with the amp damage, like you just do so much. You do so much damage. That was like an ulti, a stun, and three hits or something like that. So I was pretty happy with that. I used my armlet appropriately. I amp damaged the OD. He ended up surviving, actually. I probably should have gone for him, but for some reason I thought Klinx was going to do it or something. I don't know. I didn't do anything. I haven't, still haven't died yet. 88 last hits. And armlet's actually been paying off quite well. Pretty good damage output. So at this point, the creep wave is nowhere to be found, so I'm like, okay, I guess I'm going to go kill creeps. Now, regardless, Tinker's alive, so getting kills on them would be kind of unlikely anyways. My attack speed's actually pretty good, just with Tread's armlet. It's not bad, I must say. Um, AC is something that I'll consider in the future. I think I get an AC this game. Could use my ulti to push that a little faster, but I actually didn't want to Tread switch and do it because my mana's kind of low. I don't have any good mana regen items. I don't have a Crystal Maiden. I don't have Arcane Boots. So I have to be reliant on um, just conserving mana at all, if at all possible. And I think at that point I queued up a BKB. They actually have decent stuns, like Arrow and OD, Banish and Laser on Tinker would stop me from hitting. Um, what else? So yeah, Leshrac as well, kind of a problem. One thing I kind of missed having this game was a Blink Dagger early, though, because Tinker's going to continue doing ganking or like pushing like that, and he does have a Blink Dagger. If I just like blinked on top of him and stunned and surged and amped him, like I'd have a pretty good chance of killing the guy. Like He would be able to laser me, obviously, but... like. My ability to just jump on the guy and kill him would be fantastic. And I'm just checking items. It's a Mask of Menace on the Faces of Void. I thought the tower was like dead because I was looking at the map and the icons are so freaking huge. And now I looked at I think I scrolled past and I was like, oh damn, the tower still has a lot of HP. So I was actually considering fighting this. But we didn't have Warlock ulti was the problem. So I'm trying to remember what I do, but we'll have to see. I can't quite remember. I have a TP scroll. They're diving past tower. At this point, I thought the tower was gone already. So I just let it go. I was like, oh well, they killed that guy. I was like, Chaos Knight got out of position. And then in a second here, we'll see the tower fall, and I'll be like, oh, the tower wasn't dead yet. I probably should have been there. I think I think that was possibly my mistake. Hero come and bot. And his TP got cancelled, actually, and I saw that, so I don't know who did that. Was that Klinks, maybe? So at this point, I said, okay, his TP got cancelled. I'm just going to try to take the tower if possible. I don't remember if the glyph is up or not, but... And I'm just kind of committing now, so Armlet gives me some bonus damage here, and I am able to take the tower, which is quite useful. Good gold for my allies. It's the first tower we've taken, so it actually trades us a little bit more equal. And I pick up the Mithril Hammer, and I'm actually a short 40 gold away from a Black King Bar. So now that I have damage output, I also have Magic Immunity. BKB is actually great on Strength Heroes. It gives you a total of, what, like 36 damage or something? Yeah, something like that. So it's actually pretty good for strength your strength carries. It's not too bad. It's obviously much better damage items for 3,900 gold, but not terrible to have. Now I can kind of just run in the middle of team fights and not have to worry about magic spam as much. Most importantly, the uh, OD uh, astral imprisonment or the OD OD ulti. That's probably the nastiest things that I'd have to deal with. So, and now we kill skeletons. So BKB's up. My initiation is still going to be a little tough. I don't remember if I grab a blink now or later. I know I get a blink eventually, but I didn't grab it for quite a while. Again, if you spend the 2100 on blink, you have to make the kills happen. Otherwise, your your uh, team fight is really not that strong. So Most people just find Slaughter to be an ineffective carry. We've talked about that a lot with some of, uh, some of the local people like Blitz and 
um, the Davids and stuff like that. We just think that Slardar is a little bit less of... He's not that effective as a carry. I've been doing okay so far, but, I mean, could I have done more with a more powerful carry? Probably. I would argue yes, considering that I basically had free farm. I do have stuns, of course, which is fantastic, but... Looks like team fights are happening. I didn't really, I really didn't want to leave the farm, but I eventually did. Might have to ulti or invis to go in. At this point, everybody's really spread out. I was like, damn it, I should have stayed bot. Maybe they left the warlock alone because I started TPing. It's hard to say. I hear an arrow. We have a ward on them. Do we have warlock ulti? We do actually. We could fight this. He's gonna arcane boots me as well. So I think at this point I said, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm looking for an opening. Again, I do have Black King Bar. It's a solid rock. I'm going to follow up stun on... Wow, we are just going to kill this Void. He actually had ulti there, by the way. Perfect timing for my BKB. That was really good. I was able to stun him as well. And I don't know if I'll be able to catch this guy or not. And a little bit of armlet on, and we actually do score the kill, so I was really happy about that kill. Land the stun, amp damage afterwards, and then followed it up with uh, a couple right clicks. Should be able to get the kill. Uh, my BKB usage there was perfect. I don't want to, you don't really want to pop it until you really need to reflect the damage, and sometimes it's very tough. It's a very tough thing to know when to burn it or not, but when we initiate on the void like that, we can burst him down. You don't need to use it against the void, because even if he chronospheres you, um, it's kind of a wasted BKB in a sense. I mean, like, OD could have ultied me through it, but I was not that worried. But basically, I, I popped it right before the OD ulti tried to hit me, and that was essentially all of OD's damage. And plus, when you're magic immune, he can't even use orb on you, so at that point, OD couldn't do anything to me. Like, they didn't have void left over. They basically lost all of their hard disables that could have dealt with me at all. Um, they could have maybe OD astral whoever was getting jumped and saved him that way, but that was pretty much their only chance. As you guys can see, I'm, I am kind of low on mana. I have been tread switching a lot this game I believe what happened oh yeah my stream died my stream died right here this is why I paused um this is why I didn't have like a live recording of it because my stream kept dying this day some weird like x split bug I can't remember what it was exactly but I was trying to fix the stream still haven't died yes and at this point I think I just kind of said I don't remember what I did did I just turn up I, I was considering restarting or something I think I did it after this game no I don't even think I restarted but I was considering it 19 other gold. Uh, need a TP scroll. Blink dagger at this point would be pretty good, or I could go for an AC. Start the AC. Um, AC not very good against OD because he does pure damage, which goes right through my armor. Other than that, I felt pretty happy. I didn't really want to go deal with the uh, the void. My mana is still pretty low, so I think I stroll into the jungle at this point. Wow, that arrow is actually really close to me. Did they have vision of me or something? I really don't know. But I am 16. The amp damage is minus 20 armor right now. It's insanely good for focus firing one hero. So it reduces uh, or stops all of their protection, that is. And again, I would like to cast amp damage on the creeps, but I have to be careful and save my mana pool. So That sound is so good. It's so good. hear another arrow but I don't see it coming. I think he's just kind of like scouting with arrows or something. I'm really not that sure. Man, stuff shield and a little passive regen is really nice. I, I was was seeing some heroes over there. I kind of wanted to kill any of them that showed up but instead I just decided to go get last deaths instead. They're actually looking to initiate on me as I can see. I think I remember this fight now. I'm trying to think. There's one chrono. Little armlet on. Ah, uh, that's right. The the warlock ulti whiffed. That was really unfortunate. My BKB actually ran it out, ran out, so I really didn't want to go back into that one. And I chose to go after the uh, the Leshrac. Unfortunately, I was quite a bit blocked by the the warlock golem, so it slowed my catch up. I'm surprised I'm not max movement speed. Actually, I thought I would be. I think I changed targets again. I think my target changing was a little inefficient there, but. Largely, I did okay, and this is based. That was basically just a symptom of being so farmed at this point that I I was really tanky and hard to kill. Now I didn't BKB before the uh, the um, 
the chrono landed, but I basically just covered myself, and as soon as it ended, turned it on, and turn and fight. You should always fight as soon as, especially if you're playing a tanky hero like Slaughter, it's not like you have an escape, you know, if I was playing an anti-mage, maybe I would have blinked away. But if you're Slaughter, your choices are literally slither away kind of slowly, or you turn and try to beast mode, and that's exactly what I did. I was able to kill the Void again. Fortunately, we weren't able to kill the, uh, the Tinker there, and March ends up being really, really annoying. So despite me taking some heals, we actually have to worry about getting jumped on. I pick up a Sanj. I was interested in getting my HP up um, for some evasion. Looks like we're going to lose Silencer here. Oh yeah, he looks so dead. Um, the reason I'm going for a Heaven's Halberd instead of something like an AC is because I feel like my HP could be higher, number one. Um, the chase is not bad. The the Sanj meme is quite good. I wasn't thinking about that at the time, but it's actually quite good for chasing. Uh, but most importantly, if you look at the heroes that they're working with, like OD and Potom and Void, they are based on auto-attacking to do their damage. Now, if I do get Chronosphered, the evasion doesn't work at all. Evasion doesn't work when you're Chronosphered. Um, but um, I could use the Halberd offensively. If Void ever time walks in, I can use the Halberd on Void. If OD is trying to kill somebody, I can use the Halberd on OD. If OD doesn't have a BKB, that gives you a lot of options. And just having the evasion up means that OD right-clicks or Void right-clicks become quite more difficult. Um, this is kind of the point where Slarder peaks off in DPS anyways. And I did have a Silencer as well as a Clinks and a Chaos Knight on my team. So I was not all that worried about getting out-carried, basically. Plus, I haven't died yet, and if you never die in a game and you're still farming okay, then you're pretty much set to be less... You don't have to be as greedy with DPS items. You can go into more mediocre utility items if you want to, and you should be just fine. So, It's not saying that sometimes I don't go more aggressive because I've been doing well, but kind of just depends on the hero. In this case, since Slaughter isn't exactly the best carry in the game, I opted instead to just say, whatever, I'm just going to get a Heaven's Halberd because I think it's going to be useful. Keep in mind that actually it does do a lot of damage. I don't know what Sanj does. Sanj does, gives you uh, 26, but Heaven's Halberd is actually 45, I believe. It's a, it's a lot of damage for a strength here because it gives you 20 strength and it gives you 25 damage, if if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's uh, that's 45 damage. That's actually a pretty darn good damage item. It costs, what, uh, about 4,000 gold which is a little expensive for the ratio, but it also gives me 25% evasion, and that is fantastic. So um, the evasion is very nice, and the active is also very, very good to use against Void and um, OD, all that stuff. Um, one downside to it is that it costs 100 mana, and I have been having mana problems. You will always have mana problems as a Slarder, because there's not really any item that you specifically need. Soul Ring works, but you're already you're always going to be squishy Slarder, so um, preferably... Preferably, you do have some kind of mana of some kind. Um, I believe at this point I went blink. I said that last time, but I'm pretty sure it's this time. Because this, because you guys saw how some of the fights were. I was close to heroes, but not quite close enough. A blink would have been really useful. I should be using armlet, by the way, to to jungle here. It will increase my damage output and not cost me that much HP. It'll regen up fine. So I should have been using armlet this whole time to jungle a little faster, but I did not for some reason. It's okay though. I hit really hard. 146 plus 58 is fantastic for just a, for like, I mean BKB armlet and um, Heaven's Halberd are basically mid game or not essentially late game items. They cover you for a couple of utility reasons. Armlet is a damage item, of course, but it's not like a Monkey King bar or Daedalus or something crazy like that. Heaven's Halberd is kind of the same thing, kind of a mid game item, and um, BKB obviously is used at all parts of the game, but it's like a bunch of mid expensive price items essentially so this means that late game i'm going to run into item slot problems but as long as i'm not farming like an alchemist or something like it'll be fine Let's see who this is this is a, a tinker like right there for example if i had a blink dagger maybe i could have killed him if you disable the blink dagger the guy dies period i think my bkb is at eight seconds or seven seconds right now and again i'm going to go back into the jungle I spend a lot of time farming this game actually Mm, that bash sound. I have to say, my trident's pretty awesome. Do you guys agree? You should agree. There's so a lot of heroes just sitting mid. I'm just kind of been farming this whole time. Uh, we haven't lost any towers in a long time. That's all good for us. They are literally just like three men in mid and nothing else. That's quite confusing. I'm pretty much just bouncing between like two jungle camps in the lane. It's very good to do this. Um, if the lane isn't safe, you basically farm the lane when it's safe and then you back up. Finally using my armlet in the jungle, jeez. I mean, look at that, I lost like 
what, 100 HP? No big deal. It'll regen up in 10 short seconds. I think I was actually, yeah, 4 seconds still on the uh, Murana there. He shouldn't have used his ulti, I think. Wow. Zero crits is why I might point out. Did you guys like my ulti? It was really good. I used it. Got me an assist, whatever. Actually, I don't think it did. I'm 4, four zero and 8. Avoid got scared and time walks out. It, see, the main problem with Chaos Knight using his ulti there is that Silencer also popped his ulti. That's two pretty big ultis, especially the Silencer ulti. Like, we kind of burned our, our abilities a little bit there. The ability, there are, our chances of taking the tower at this point, especially when Tinker's still up, is just very little. It's quite unwise for, for Silencer to pop his ulti. At least it wasn't like Warlock or something. I mean, it's the solo pot him, for God's sake. We probably could have killed her without her even leaping. I mean, even if she leaped. On the bright side, it did give us like 40 seconds of uh, farm downtime for us to just keep last hitting and for them to stand around and not do as much. But they're not, they, it looks like their farming habits aren't very good. Look at where Leshrac's standing right now. Leshrac is just standing mid. OD is just standing mid. It's a lot of heroes just waiting around while more of ours farm than not. Oh, I was so pumped about this haste rune. I think if you grab a haste and you pop EKB though, it, it breaks your haste. So it's important to keep in mind. And I wanted to go initiate, I think. I think I was, I don't remember if I was stacking that on purpose, but I was like, pot him, let's do it. Oh my god, I hit hard. <laughs> oh, it was like really hard. That's minus 20 armor, guys. That's what that is. Oh, what level is she? I, I think I checked two. She's level 11, guys. So she's level 11. I'm like level 20 now. Does minus 20 armor and have an armlet, and like I have in Halberd now. I hit for like 400 damage, it's crazy. That's really high actually, let me think about it. How much armor does she have? Probably not much. She has like, yeah, not much armor at all. Yeah, I am kind of scary at this point. Such, she had such little armor. She had like minus like 11 armor or something like that, so I did like 30% bonus damage somewhere around there, maybe more. It's probably more, because I was hitting for 400, I saw the numbers. It's like doubling my damage output versus her basically. Crazy stuff. Yes, I used my armlet. Mm, bash creeps. We see the faces void, and I was like, yes. Kill him and stuff. So I lost about 300 HP from using the armlet there. That's not bad. Considering it will regen up, I will I will make it. Alright, I finally have enough for Blank Dagger. I'm pretty sure I bought it here. No confirmations. But I think so. Couple more heroes mid. Again, farming the bot lane. Turns out you're supposed to do this when you think you're out farming your opponents. Which I think I was doing for sure. Sell my stout shield, do it. Don't tell me I bought an AC first. It would ruin my street crowd forever. Maybe I bought a hyperstone? Maybe I bought a plate mail? I really don't remember. I could have swore it was uh, a blink here though. Don't do it. Oh god, that's the plate mail. I just queued up AC. Oh god. Am I gonna be wrong? Tinker buys the side of the vice, that's kinda scary. Dude, I hit really hard. I'm honestly pretty impressed with my damage output at this point in the game. I am level 20, that's probably part of it. I must say. Looks like Slaughter's agility gain is actually pretty good as well. So we lose a Clink's. He's doing some solo killing. Alright, so bought a plate mail. That's coming to me. Does that count as me cheating? Like, I didn't buy a blink dagger, that's for sure. But didn't I? Am I in trouble, guys? Stout shield. Alright, so now I have a plate mail. Plate mail at this point does way more protection than stout shield does. It's not even close. Um, stout shield is probably better for creeps, but against heroes, plate mail disgustingly more. I was really considering stunning that guy. I probably should have just done it. He was so close to it. He was right within my range. I ate an arrow and I was like, okay, I guess we're fighting. But at this point, again, so tanky. Doesn't matter that much. Plate mill and a Helvin's Halberd. I'm, I'm completely safe. So, do we go back and farm? Is that the question? Still haven't died yet. Feeling pretty cool. A little accidental choke point. Accidental choke point jungling. I'll now GP to the top lane. At this point, I'm very close to AC. Alright, I'm not getting a blink dagger yet. 
I'm bad. Apparently, my memory is no good. It's going to be an AC. Might as well finish it at this point, I think. Bought some TP scrolls for the courier, I think. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I missed the last hit. So I just need 1300 gold and I'll have the AC finished. So that'll give me plus 15 armor, I believe, and um, a lot of attack speed, and mo most importantly, the minus 5 armor, which means I do even more damage. That's a lot of ganks on me. I remember this moment. I was like, God, I got hexed, by the way. And the OD, he, he astraled himself accidentally. He got too excited about ganking me. That he astraled himself. Now, um, it actually would have been a huge mistake if he did astral me, because I got hexed by the Tinker. So I guess technically, like I thought when I played the game, I was like, oh man, I got so lucky there. I got hexed by the Tinker. I would have been astraled, which would have removed the, the hex, and then I just would have BKB'd and run away. So I guess no matter what, I was going to live. Now that I, now that I watched the replay. but Regardless, still a mistake from the OD. He really should have just came for it and hit me a bunch of times. This would have been the best, as Tinker did like a rearm hex. But whether they would have killed me or not, no, or executed it perfectly, not so sure. All it takes for me is a split second of non-stun for me to cast BKB, and then I would have survived, most likely. A short 300 from AC, and I'm happy. We really are just farming a lot, though. But if you look at our heroes, like, we don't necessarily have to push. And I told my team this a few times. And most importantly, it's not easy to push. If they have a Tinker and you try to push somewhere, they're just going to show up and cast March two times and your whole creep wave dies. And you're like, well, I was going to push, but now I have to... Now I can't. Ugh, man. It's like 12.30 right now. Cannot wait to upload all these. I'm going to be up for at least another hour, I bet. I gotta go to bed and wake up at 8 a.m. Get on an airplane, which is in the past. This has already happened. All right, AC's on the way. AC finished. Five kills, eight assists. Passive game, but I've had a good time. Uh, Void actually went for an armlet. Surprisingly, not recommended. Um, it's a very good damage item for uh, strength heroes, not for agi heroes. For strength heroes, it does give you okay damage, but I've never really looked at the math, but I'm pretty sure it's not worth it, because Armlet gives you like 25 strength or something like that, and uh, edgy heroes are not going to benefit nearly as much from it. I am not okay with this pause, that's what I'm going to say. Pocket loss. Dude, he lost his pockets. What are you supposed to do? Where do you put your wallet? Alright, so AC, BKB, Armlet... Midas, I am so ready to fight. I am so ready to fight. My mana is actually good now as well because I've been getting, all, getting a lot of stat levels. So I was thinking about fighting bot, or did we just split push them? I can't quite remember. Silencer is excellent at tanking creeps. Look at that attack speed. I hit really hard now. Hitting for like 200. Oh god, that's like 300. That's like really good damage. Wow. That's all, that was like amazing damage, and all I got different was a uh, was the AC. So it doesn't even increase my damage much. Sentry is good. I know some starters are interested in going things like life steal. Um, another item I could have gotten is maybe a desolator because it does reduce armor. Uh, so deso is a possibility. I still think armlet is maybe a little too good to pass off because it it it. It solves some of your HP problems as well as other things. I just wanted to take this tower before I end up going aggressive. Wasn't really able to initiate properly there. But I was busy hitting the tower. We took the tower and we're like, okay, whatever. Took the tier 2 tower, let's go take the mid towers. Oops, and we see a chrono here. I did have Halbert him. Oh, wow, it did actually save him. I thought that that didn't, but I think it did. During the game, I didn't think it did. But I have Halbert did the, uh, the void. It's pretty pretty waste of a silence by the silencer. You gotta wait until somebody um, initiates guaranteed. At this point I said, back up, back up, let's go take mid, and they're like, oh let's push tower. And I was like, alright, you're right. They were right. We should've I should we should have gone I should have gone straight in, that is. So now I'm gonna hit the tower a bunch. I do get hexed. Not even mad. 
Clink's just doing it from the low ground. Wow, he hits really hard. I don't know what items he has, but he's got some items. I kind of just want to be aggressive here. He walked way too close to me. Kind of just played it really safe. Like, I didn't have to use Sprint there. I wanted to kind of pressure them, and as soon as I got that close to the OD, I just BKB'd it, because I knew he was going to cast something. I'm, like, really hesitant to use Sprint this game, apparently. It's like I... I don't know. Saving it that long is... Is good if you have control over what's going on. Like if your judgment calls are decent, like mine are at this point, or at least they were this game generally. It's very good to wait then. All right, thirty-three hundred gold. Now we get a blank dagger. I am pretty much guaranteed to get a blank dagger at this point. I mean, I know I said that like three other times, but damn it. This time, guys. This time. If you're regening, by the way, you should trip switch. It's not as big of a deal late game when you have a larger percentage of HP, but... Mm, last hits. Blink Dagger. See, guys? I told you. Blink Dagger, obviously. Ooh, I get hexed. They actually decided not to initiate on me. I thought I was going to die finally. Didn't happen. I got my blink. Oh, they all went invis. I was upset about this. BKB. Armlet on. Sprint. Run free. Alright, made it. Definitely almost died. Initiated on a bunch of invis heroes without detection. That was no good. And here's the part where I like run out of item slots. Like, what can I do? I either sell treads, buy boots, travel, so that I can have a TP, or I just say YOLO and um, keep all my items where they're at, which is basically what I did. And this is the mid-game item problem. It's 41 minutes in. My GPM is pretty good, but it's not ridiculous, as far as I know. My net worth is really high, though. By far highest in the game. It's my GPM. GPM. GP. There it is. Five seven. That's actually really good. That's because I haven't died. If you don't die, you continue farming. That's the uh, the cool part. So, pretty good gold per minute. Um, yeah, I've got decent gold, decent gold per minute. Nothing amazing by any means. And of course, uh, I'm, I am out of item slots. Like I said, I don't know if I use the blink dagger a whole lot. I think I blinked once before, so they probably know it exists. Oh, my HP is actually really good right now. 2700 is fantastic. Looking to jump on somebody. Here, I want to get his Tinker. A really good silence from the Silencer. Alright. Killing Silencer with the start is so good. Warlock Golem's a little wasted there, but... We did win the fight quite easily. So, two dead heroes. We burned the Warlock ulti, but... It's okay. I was able to blink initiate on Tinker. Once you kill the Tinker, he can't spam March, and then you can actually dive whatever you want to. So, picking him off is very crucial. Again, looking for blink initiations. Saw Void down here, so I said, Void, let's fight. Oh, I really messed up using my ulti there. I should have used my ulti. At that point, I got scared. You couldn't really see it from my perspective, but basically three enemy heroes, they all went invis. You could see with my clicking, I got a little scared, but... Three enemy heroes, they all go invis. And I was expecting OD to, like, initiate on me, so I just popped PKP. I was like, oh god, they're gonna initiate. Didn't happen, but it doesn't matter. Waited a little bit too long to blink there. I could have initiated much earlier. Let's see if we can fight again. I was a little scared because I didn't have magic immunity. I just played it safe, didn't die. Woohoo! And that's Slaughter. I know it's been freaking forever since I made a Slaughter game. I, it's just a hero that I never choose to play. There's a lot of other carries that are more enjoyable. I kind of had fun playing him here though with the armlet. There's quite a few things to do tactically while you um, initiate on people, so maybe I'll start playing it more often, but 
generally there's much better carries that you guys can play. The upside is that he has the stuns. Stuns are fantastic. A lot better than a lot of carries work with uh, currently. Chaos Knight is obviously an exception. But kind of a fun hero. Gets a lot tankier with Armlet and uh, turn that into a BKB and then maybe a Blink Dagger. If I wanted to adjust my item build, I maybe would have gotten a Blink before Heaven's Halberd. If, or, yep, yeah, before Heaven's Halberd. Get a Blink after the Armlet BKB so that I can initiate better. But we had a lot of team fight stuff, so I, I felt pretty comfortable with just getting the, uh, the Halberd first. And maybe it didn't really save me a whole lot. I feel like the Halberd really did very little, but I was okay with how everything went. So that's it. That's the starter game. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll be back on... Uh, Monday morning, I think I might be busy that day, so I'm not sure if I'll upload that day, but hopefully the rest of the weekend has been uploaded. Thanks everyone for tuning in, and I'll see you later. Bye.